in, in a classroom setting, the teacher is the safekeeper, and the teacher's job is to keep the classroom safe. And the children's job is to help the teacher keep the classroom safe. The side effects from giving our power away is we have to control everything. We stay guarded. And what happens when we stay guarded is that we can't make those connections. When we were walking around singing that, playing that song, singing that song, every time you shake somebody's hands, you're making a connection. And it's great to get kids doing that because they're making connections. But if we're guarded, we can't make connections. Okay? And you know people who live in their limbic systems? who are very unhappy people all of the time and they have a very difficult time connecting with people because they're having to guard those buttons. What you focus on you get more of. When you're having a, a bad day you find you're focusing on every little bad negative thing that goes on and it just seems to snowball versus when you're having a good day and you're focusing on all the wonderful things that are going on. What you focus on you get more of. If you're focusing on the misbehavior or the problem child or the the one person that just seems to be doing everything they shouldn't be doing that day, that's what you're going to get more of. If you're focusing on the things that are going right, that's what you're going to get more of. Positive intent is a prefrontal lobe skill, and the power behind it is love, and love sees the best in others. It improves self-image and it builds trust. With your most difficult children, these are the ones you want to really work on this skill with, positive intent, because they can feel it. Kids can feel when we like them and when we don't like them, when they're annoying to us or when we're seeing the best in them. And when we start seeing the best in them, their behavior starts improving because that relationship, that connection's been established. The skin is considered metaphorically the outer layer of the brain because the brain and the skin are formed from the same embryonic tissue. So whenever there's touch involved, whenever there's a connection, whenever we're like shaking the hands at the beginning, Whenever there's a connection on the outside, that creates a connection on the inside where the brain is actually being wired up. Kids need connections, and the disconnected kids are usually our problem kids. Mm -hmm. So if we can help them and we can connect with them and create that relationship with them when there isn't a problem going on, we're going to cut our problems, and when there is a problem, they're going to be more apt to come out of it to upshift quicker. I acknowledge that when I feel upset, it is because the world is not going my way. I am willing to spend some time working on owning my own upset. I no longer want to give my power away to others and then blame them for taking it. I want more control in my life. I really encourage you in that. We cannot teach skills that we do not have. And sometimes we try to teach kids skills that we haven't gotten down yet. So I really encourage you to take that time and, and um, just pick one of them that you want to work on one thing.